everyone, Dr. McKnight here. Today I'm going to talk about something called an expander. Expanders are used by us to do a lot of different things. We make room for teeth with them and we also correct something called crossbites with them. Expanders are really helpful tools for us to do all of those things in a very easy way. The expander that we use the most is something called a Hyrax expander and it looks something like this. The cool thing about our expanders is that they're actually made from a 3D printer. So we take a scan of your teeth, it takes about a minute, and then we send it to the lab to get made specifically for your teeth. So when you get your expander, it's gonna look something like this. You have these two little bands on your back teeth, and then you have the part that goes on the roof of your mouth, and it has these two little arms that come up from either side. And that's gonna make sure that all these teeth get pushed out on either side of the expander. So the way that an expander works is that there's a little screw in the middle of the expander and we give you a key that you're gonna use to actually put inside a little hole in that screw and turn it, and every turn of the expander is a quarter of a millimeter that the teeth will move out. When you have your son or daughter or patient in the chair, you're gonna be looking at them upside down. You can see on the actual expander, there's these little arrows that show you which way to turn the key. So what you wanna do is you wanna put the key into the hole and you're gonna turn the expander one time until you see the next hole appear. And then you're gonna take the expander key out towards the back of the mouth and take it out of their mouth fully. Sometimes what can be a challenge is that these holes don't do a full turn. And so you may only see part of the hole when you go to turn it. If that's the case, go ahead and use the key, go into the little hole and turn it until you can see it fully and clearly making that full turn until you see the next hole. What you don't wanna do is undo the turn you just did. So you don't wanna do this, undo the turn as you're taking out the key, okay? So again, what you wanna do is put the little key into the hole, push it in all the way. There's a little area on the key where it bends. So again, put it in all the way until you feel it kind of hit that little bend in the key. Turn the key until you see the next hole and then go ahead and take out and remove the key from the mouth. You do wanna let us know if any of these bands in the back become loose at any point or if your expander comes out. Some of the things that you can expect when you have your expander in is that you will get a space between your front two teeth. That space will get a little bit bigger as you go through the expansion process, but after the 30 days of turning, you may see that that space even closes up a little bit. The space is created um, by the expander for us to use to move your teeth around. So when we put your braces on, that space will be the first thing that we close. Another thing that you might feel with your expander is that your nose might feel a little tingly, and that's totally normal. 